Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Slurred Words Plays Chess.com. Let's uh, do some more lessons. Opening principles. We got activate pieces. All right. Luna, want winning a chess game isn't something you can no? simply make happen. Okay. There's no outright winning strategy or yep. forced win. Yeah. If you simply hope that your opponent will do all of the work for you and make a blunder, you won't win as many games and you won't get very good. The only way okay. to win at chess is by playing with sound strategies and gradually making your position better until you have an overwhelming advantage or your opponent can't handle the pressure and cracks. The key to improving your position is making your pieces active. An I think active piece I got most is of that. one that is full of potential and ready to jump into action. Got basically overpower them. When you start a game of chess, none of your pieces oh, are active. C four with your most oh, of dude, your pieces to can't to even move. Your job is to get your pieces into the game and put them on active squares where they can attack, defend, and improve your control of the board. Okay. Let's take a look at a few positions and compare who has more active pieces. Let's start by looking at some opening moves and see which side does a better job activating their pieces. White begins the game with e4, oh, controlling the center and already opening up lines for the light squared bishop yeah. and queen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Black plays I didn't even see the queen six. part. This oh. pawn controls g5, Why? but does nothing to help with development. Dude, you gotta go for the center, remember? White plays knight f3. Ooh. The knight activates toward the center, controlling the d4 and e5 central squares. Yeah, exactly. Powerful. Black plays knight a6, developing a piece, but unlike point, White's actually, last knight move to f4. f3, Black's knight on a6 does not control the center the knight on the rim only is controls dim. four squares. <laughs> Dummy. E4, c5, c7, and b8. Yeah, not very Let's effective. Let's compare that to the knight like, on f3. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, four, Got some protect Five, oh, you got protection six, for your king, seven, too? Eight. Kind of. Not really. Eight total squares, or that. twice as many as the knight on a6 controls. Yep. That's why it's important to develop toward the center. Cool. White follows this advice with bishop to c4, Liver. controlling the center and placing pressure on black's weakest point, the f7 square. Notice white is ready to castle on the very next turn. Exactly. Black plays oh, black. h5, moving the h-pawn for a second time, this which guy. does not control any central squares and waste time that could have been used to develop a tell. piece. White Ooh. castles the king okay, to safety castle. and brings the rook toward the center. Black places a, knight a second on the rim knight is to the dim, edge of the black. board, reducing its square control oh, again to only black. four squares, just like what the knight doing? on a6. Oh, White activates that's the rook with rook e1. The rook enjoys open lines in the center of the board. Notice the rook can help support the e-pawn's advance up the board in the future. Yeah. Taking a look at White's position, you can notice that White has placed a pawn in the center, has developed pieces to active squares that help control the center, and White has also castled the king to safety. Black, on the other hand, does not control any of the key central exactly. squares, has two knights on the edge of the board, and Black has not moved any pawns that would allow the bishops and queen to enter the game. Okay, so real quick. I think they're going to go to the next part of the lesson. So the big thing I need to remember is that this knight takes these two squares. I, it's something I did not even consider because I learned to fry liver. So you go like, bop, bop, and you fork them. But it's good to consider this too for key principles. White's position is far more active. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Let's take a look at another position. Okay. Take a moment and compare oh, okay. white and black's pieces. Oh. Which side has more active pieces? Definitely white. white. Or black. Got this, this, this. Let's and first this, look this. at white's Everything's pieces. Everything's doing everything. Notice that white has three pieces in black's territory. The bishop on f6, the knight on d6, and the rook on c7. Okay. All of these pieces are very active. The bishop on f6 controls a lot of key squares right in front of black's king, and notice the bishop controls the entire a1 to h8 diagonal. This bishop the, also uh, controls h4 to d8, controlling a lot of dark squares right in black's territory. Yeah. The knight on d6 is excellently placed. It's putting pressure on f7, b7, 
and the bishop on c8. Oh, yeah, the Notice bishop. white's rook on c7 is doing the same thing, pressurizing all three of yeah. these targets as well. Go boom, boom. The only piece boom. that's not in black's territory is the rook on d1, and it enjoys a lot of open squares hmm. and also I'm protects sure the knight that, on d6. Yeah, exactly. Let's compare that with black's pieces. Black has no pieces in white's territory, and notice black has three pieces still on the eighth rank. That can't do anything. The rook either. on a8, rook's trap, the rook's bishop trap, on c8, bishop's trap, and the rook on f8. Only just knight. The only the piece not on, on the back rim, rank which is, is the knight on h6, stuck in the corner. Notice the knight cannot move to f5 or g4 because oh white has God. pawns that would capture that knight. Jesus, Black's pieces Black, you are basically do? paralyzed. How'd you get so bad? Take a look at the light squared bishop on c8. It has one square, d7, and it's already protected by the white rook. Yeah, you The black rook that. on f8 cannot move to e8 because of the knight oh my or God. d8 without getting captured by the bishop. I the only piece that either. can move without getting captured is the rook on a8, and it yeah. can only move to b8, where it's not really doing much. Yeah, nothing so at all. So to take really. a look at this position, we can say white has very active pieces and black has very inactive pieces. Okay. Yeah, that's Let's very true. Let's take a look at one more position. Okay. Finally, in this position, is it clear which side has more active pieces? Let's take a look. Black's Notice that not... both sides have pawns directly in the center, d4 and d5. Black's got a good thing here. Both sides have very active bishops. They both control kingside and queenside it's space. Mirror, kind of. Both sides have queens directly behind those bishops. Just controlling good diagonals the, on the uh, king side the as well as queen side, this one's and they're well the rook, placed though. in the center of the board. Notice both sides have rooks on the C file, queen to enjoying a lot of open D2. squares. Interesting. The only difference between the two sides is the rook on E1 for white has the E file all to itself. Meanwhile, the rook on F8 isn't really doing that much for black. So black solves this by playing rook F to E8. The queen protection. Both sides have very active pieces. Yes. We would call this an even or balanced position. Now that you've learned how to identify active versus inactive pieces, it's your turn to practice activating your pieces. All right. Students thing. Okay. I'm black. You going to say anything? White would like to castle on the next move. Can you uh, find a developing move for black that brings a piece to an active square and prevents white from castling? Okay. Let me reread that. Can you find a developing move for black that brings a piece to an active square and prevents white from castling? White's going to try to castle this side. Can't, can't move you to here. Uh, no, actually, it's here I want to be, right? But we need, we want to activate some more pieces. If I move here... Nah, that's going to do too much. I think your best move is to be, like, here, right? No. Oh, wait, it's also this, so I didn't even think about that. Oh, let me try it. Uh, that was a blunder. I meant to go here. You have the right idea, but you can activate a piece that hasn't moved... Yeah, to the same diagonal. Okay. What piece to that? What move? How? Excuse me, how? Seeing as, like, everything's kind of blocked. So, I think... Oh, duh, right here. Gotcha. You always want to put your bishops to the side, too, I'm learning. Or, it's not maybe always, but it's a good idea in general maybe not always in, in specific situations but definitely it's not a bad move so i didn't even see that that's that's good to know and that activates your bishop too okay white wants to capture black's pawn on c3 uh which uh piece captures if i go here it opens up your bishop right if I go here, it activates the knight. I want to see which one it says I have to do. Yeah, okay. Excellent. White captures the pawn and makes the knight an active piece fighting for the center. And yeah, you got like uh, this and you got... Well, and you're protecting the pawn there. So like these two. 
Okay. I gotta look for that diagonal, uh, thing more often with the knight. Uh, White wants to develop the light squared bishop on this move and castle. What's the best square for the bishop? So I want a castle. Oh, we can't go here because that captures. This supports those two pawns. When activating this piece, don't forget to keep the other pieces safe. I don't even see the knight attack there. Okay, okay. Just, just starting to ramp up these challenges a little bit. We want to... We want to castle. Is it the queen's? Are we queenside castle? Let's see. Here? Well, first off, here. Nothing. Kind of supports a lot of stuff. It's also, I like seeing the queen there, and we did see that before. Here, not super good, because we can't attack. Same with that. This is just blocked. This attacks the bishop, but then you can just take with their bishop, which is just bad. And then here, yeah, so I, let's try this. No. Our goal is to move the light square. Okay, that's, that's, that's right. They said bishop. Is it this? Okay, yeah. Good job. Oh, it's fence to queen, too. Okay. Good job. This bishop and choice open squares on the d1 and h5 diagonals and prepares castling for the next move. Whoop. Okay. White's rook on e1 is preventing black from castling since it would capture the bishop on e7. Okay, let me read that one more time. <laughs> White's rook on e1. Yep, uh... Is preventing black from castling since it would catch up the bishop on e7. How can black to fill up a piece and block white's uh, rook from attacking the dark squared bishop? This? Because then you can attack the knight. But they can also attack you, right? Okay, that's not right. This move does not block. Right to rook from attacking the bishop. Oh, so we want to block attacking the bishop. Okay. Okay. I think it has something to do with this. Okay. Exactly. Black activated the light squared bishop and is ready to castle. Right now, act fates a bishop to threaten uh, to capture the c7 pawn. How can black bring back the king to safety and protect the c7 pawn in a single move? The castle? Yeah, yeah, obviously. You got it. Black's move to the king to safety protects the c7 pawn and act fates the rook on a d file in a single move. And look at that, it's open too. Oh, and it, no, I guess you can't attack, but still. It's ready to attack. Black's rook is ready to invade on e1 or e2. Oh, let's take out the... Probably e2, so you can, like, then some of these bishops. Go like... Or bishops. Some of these pawns. Boom. Can't take that one, but you can take, like, this. Go, like, here. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. How can you prevent both these moves and attack... White's passive rook. I think if you move like this to here. No. This move does not activate right to rook and prevents black's rook from fading on e1. Okay, yeah. Or e2. Try again. Okay. Let me think. We want to activate our rook. We can't castle. Um. This? Nice try, but black's rook and fades white position and wins material. Try again. Okay, 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 okay. Here? This move is also good, but you can find a king move that clears the first rank of the, the right rook. Here? Okay, why? The king is active... 
piece, so you can take this. Also, Brian prevents the... Oh, so you, I see, so they can't go here or here. That makes sense. Uh, cool, okay, cool, cool. Let's not do the next lesson, let's play now. Now that we've gotten a lesson out of the way for the episode, let's play online. We're slowly learning here. Okay. Now, as you can see, my, but it has gone up a little bit since last time I've made an episode. I might have been practicing in my free time. This is the Scandinavian I can do like this. I forget how you do this move. What, are you gonna try to do this? How can I attack this bishop? Not like that. Yes, like that. No, not like that. I lied. Let's just develop. Still got the x-rays going. Okay, so we got some defense for that too. What if we, like, activate our bishop now? Or, yeah, our bishop. And we start doing that our first fried liver. They won't see it coming. Never mind. Um, let's do this so we can also... Or we'll do a... No, this wouldn't be a queenside castle. Go here. We're more developed. Because now I can, like, attack this without worry. Which is probably what I'll do first if I can. Unless you move this here. Which, fair enough. Now, am I missing anything with this? No. They're thinking. Like, your best move is to, like, move this here. If you do that, I'll castle. And then my rook's activated. Oh, we got such a good... This is an Italian game, apparently. The two knights defense. It's going pretty good so far, I would, I would say. Okay, so you're trying to, like, take this. So you make me... Ca well, listen. I'm already on the castle gang. So I'll just do that first. I misplayed. I forgot he got to use the king. Um, whoopsies. It's fine. We'll just have a queenside castle. That was a mistake for sure. But it was a miss. It was a misclick, really, more than a misplay. I had the right idea. I'm trying to slow down my game because I'm starting to speed up my game a lot so that way I wouldn't take so long on thinking but like right now I think I need to slow down because I lost like 20 elo earlier today so you can do this I'm just I'm just bad this gives you the protection I can't go here because you're gonna take that what if I It's not... I can go here. But they always fried liver. Just to stop. Just stop. Just stop. Um, let's see what we can do about this. Let's get this bishop activated. I'll probably like go like right here to scare them off. Because they can trade bishops if they, w if they want. But, I mean... I'm not too worried about it either way. But yeah, I've been trying to... I've been looking at some of the past videos. And there's a reason why this channel is called Slurred Words. No, it's not because it's a, you know, being trunk reference. And there was something else I was thinking too. But, um, I s used to have a stutter. So, I speak fast. And sometimes I still stutter. Like, there'll be a little bit of a stutter in my speech. But, one reason why I actually was really excited about getting into YouTube was because I could treat it as a, uh... A little bit of a speech therapy. It just, you know, train myself to speak slower. And I think slowing down my speech, slowing down my gameplay, I think that's the right move for content. They're thinking horde. Like, do this, I'll activate this, and then we're like, even. You can trade if you want, Steven. Man, my back's kill me too. 
activates your queen a little bit more. It's a lot of setup right now. Interesting. What are you going to take with this? Yes. <laughs> I see. Good moves. Good moves, kid. Well, else can you Oh, you forked me, you little son of a bitch. How can I punish you for that? Huh? How can I punish you for that? Because you're going to open up this for me. That was a good move. That was a well thought out move. I'm black here. Um, I can also move this eventually and try to do like a... No, I, I have to move this, right? If I go here, we can attack still with the king, but I want a kingside castle. So let's do... Or queenside castle. So let's do this. It's still active. You're going to lose your knight, but it's a good move. Get ready to fork ya. I did not even see the bishop take. That was, that was good on them. They're definitely winning this so far. Oh my god. I, I can't castle now, I guess. I see that what that was about. But I, I can't fork yet? Did I misplay this? Did I, mis did I misthink this? Did I, mis I did. I'm just bad. I'm just bad, it turns out. I'm actually just terrible. We gotta leave that there until we take care of this horsey. This horsey. Okay. If I take, you take. You got a lot of defense here, but not a lot of defense here. But I got no bishops. Oh God, this is a mess. Awesome. What have you done? Well, when all else fails, pawn storm. This is what I'm talking about. I'm <laughs> my elo's been going down a little bit today. I was feeling really proud of myself last night because I almost got myself to like 400. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm so bad right now. Oh. Man, <laughs> I'm terrible. Oh my god. Austin. Austin. <laughs> Stop it. He's already dead. Okay. Let's do this thing. I'm going to create the most hardcore attack ever. They don't even know yet. They even, they, you know, you already know what the frick's going on. Well, they don't, but. This is, like, my last chance to, like, actually do something fun. But this, this is looking like a loss. I've, I've misplayed t so much. I gotta remember to look out for the x-rays, too. Good move, good move. That's fine. So they're gonna take with that. They're so good. That's amazing right now, honestly. We gotta move this rook. <laughs> we, I just realized that bishop's attacking our rook. So we have to move it. Question is to where? I like this because then we can just like start attacking this file. This is this is bad though. Don't get me wrong. This is terrible for me. They have a seven point advantage. So yeah, let's just say the least. This is terrible.
Be back on defense. We're, we're slowly working this. So my plan is I'm going to move this here. And then move the bishop here. Or not the bishop. The rook. The other rook here. The A1 rook. And start this like doing a, a left side attack here. No, Alexa. I wasn't talking to you. Alexa, power down. I'm thinking horde right now. Okay, so we got to think for ourselves real quick. So this queen's going to go like... It could go like right here. Then, of course, I could move here, so that's fine. It could go like right here, do this. And it's got the queens now. Um... Trying to get a free pawn, huh? And you attack the king. Well, no, because I'm doing this anyways. Boop. Boop. This is here. Now I'm going for this one. There's just nothing I can do about it. And I'm going to go for the rook. But I'm moving the rook anyways. So let's do it. I'm ready. Come on, take my pawn. I know what you're doing. You can take my pawn, buddy. So it goes like here. Let's try and take my rook. You can go here or here. I'm just going to take that too. That's fine, because I'm doing this, though, so, is the thing. So. Queen, the strongest attack. You don't even know, sir. So I go here, you take. I go here, <laughs> you take. That queen's the only thing kind of stopping my push right now. You know what? I just realized that's actually really terrible for me to have my rook here, but it's not doing anything. Wait, you trying to push this so I, I do something? Let's go here. Let's do this thing. Let's get ready. You're going to take with this, aren't you? That will be your best move. Now thinking about it. No, you did not. Perfect. Go for this first. Then we move this up. What, where can this move? No, we're good for now, but it's actually not bad here. Where can this move? This can move here pretty safely. Let's take that pawn. Pawn. And we can threaten their knights. Well, no, they'll probably take with their knight. So be, actually, that would be a terrible trade. Oh, God, they got me set up for this because I'm going to go for that. Can't go here. I gotta think of something fast. So what? You take this. They got me in a really good position right now. Don't get me wrong. But it's fine. So we'll just move this out of the way. Attack their knights. They're just getting ready for an attack. And I'm going to try to attack that knight if they don't move it. They're running out of time, but so am I. <laughs> so I don't know why I brought that up. Really kind of a pointless fact. They have more time than me still. Oh, shit, they're going to take my knight. But fine, I'll take your knight, too, if you take my knight. I go here. I'm just going to start wiping out your knights. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm definitely at a disadvantage here. <laughs> they 
got so many of my pawns. My pawn structure is ruined. Okay, it's fine though. Fred six nine three eight zero is a you know formidable challenger. And it's got a. You're trying to take my knight again. Oh, you're gonna take both my knights. Cool. I'll do this. Let's do a little knight switch, buddy. Make my day. Okay. Okay, just real quick, think. This guy's gonna go, like, here to threaten. Export that with the queen, actually. Really well. And the, this guy right here, so... No, that's a lie. So, I'm terrible, actually. So, that's, that's all a complete lie. No, 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 no. That's completely right. Now, am I wrong in anything else? Nope, I'm good. I'm good. This this was the right move, for sure. Cause so this guy's this guy's planning to go like this, basically, and throw me in check. But now he can't, cause I'll stick with my rook. But then we'll trade rooks, basically. But if he even takes this, for example, I have this here to protect it and my queen. I can activate it further. They're thinking hard over there, for sure. Let's do this. This is actually a really good move for us. Because now we're going to take that bishop. Slowly start reeling it back. Attack that pawn. Start breaking the pawn structure like we wanted. And just really freak with them. It's called the left side flood is the thing. It's a move I created, as you know, a chess pro. Not to brag or anything. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. Oh, they're thinking horde over there. The sun run out of time! You better hurry up! Good move, good move. Because if I take here, you can still just take... Why can't I go here? Why can't I go here? I'm so confused. How are you in check there? Oh, that that horse there. So yeah, let's go here. Say freak you do. Your bishop lives another day. Ah uh, ah. Uh, uh. Can't move this there yet. That, that was a good move. Good move for sure. I can't attack this, but it's definitely safer. You know, I should have eaten dinner before this. I'm starting to feel a little lightheaded, but that's fine. This gives me an advantage, trust me. I'm ready. Attack this. Make my day. Look, buddy. If you want, if you want to trade rooks, I'm ready. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing, dude. Let's fucking do this thing now. My, I'm not gonna have any protection against. I'm like, gonna really have to make sure my queen's alive. Otherwise, I can just pawn storm me. But such an interesting move. Okay, shut up. I know. I'm thinking here. I'm thinking here. They might still have the time advantage. I lied.
They got definitely more time to think. I basically gotta go here. Let's see what they can do. I'm ready. I'm ready if you are, dude. I'm ready, dude. I'm freaking ready, dude. Get your queen out of here. So I can go here. Ah, shit. No, I, I, I'll tr queen trade, basically. And just do like a little fun thing with the rooks. I, this is a lost game. I made a, a good effort, but it's definitely a, a lost game. Oh, they're wasting their time, though. Wasting their time advantage. So am I. Go here. I don't know. Go here. I gotta think. I'm running out of time. It's over. She checkmated me. Okay, that's even better. Um. Well, how long has this episode been running for? I'll probably call it here because I need some food. Yeah. Uh. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, come like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace out.